Hello friends, this is Laloon Bunny and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be unboxing and featuring a new pen that I got, which is the Bennu Briolette Luminous Dream. So the pen is housed in a very minimalist white slim box from Bennu and it includes a Schmidt converter. Here you can see it includes some literature and product warranty information as well as how to take care of the pen i will read those in a while after i shoot this video and this pen includes a pen rest so it has a free pen rest i'm not sure if all ben new fountain pens include the pen rest but this particular model includes one and we will be unboxing it so here's a tiny box and there's the pen press which is really cute i was so delighted when i saw it it's really cute and tiny so here's the very stunning fountain pen and i really love the shape and size of it as well as the design it's really it's almost like an art piece for me, especially when I saw it for the first time in person. And I think it's made up of acrylic body. And here's me just comparing the size of the Bennu Briolette with some of my fountain pens. So here's a Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini and a Caveco Alsport. So I'm also removing the caps of the fountain pens to see their size comparisons without the cap. The pen comes with a stainless steel Schmidt nib and I got mine in broad. So here's a quick look of how the nib looks like close up. It is also worth mentioning that Bennu Briolette fountain pens are not postable. So I'm still getting used to using this fountain pen as I usually post my pens whenever I write with them. I would love to know if you are using your fountain pens mostly posted or mostly unposted. And let me know which fountain pens do you use unposted. So more size comparisons now with Twisby Eco and Palette Custom 74. Now we are going to ink the pen. So here's me showing the converter that it is included with. And then I'm going to check if there's a cartridge included. So I'm removing the cap and let's see if there's a cartridge included. So there's a cartridge included, but I did not expect it to be this huge. The ink capacity on this cartridge is very large. So I'm excited to use it as a an ink reservoir. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the converter. So here's the pen. I'm going to check how many turns it takes to unscrew. So one. Two. so around two and a half turns so that's quite a lot but i guess that's how the pen is secured so here's the fountain pen with the included pen rest and as you can see it glows in the dark i was so surprised to see how luminous it was in the dark i thought it was just going to be quite luminous but not as luminous as this one so this is how it looks like in the dark so in light and then in the dark so if this is your jam then you should get one of these pens it's really interesting and it's really special it's such a nice characteristic i decided to ink it with linen toolbar purple rice simply because of the mauve or purple um, accents on its body so i'm using a syringe with a blunt tip needle to fill the converter of the pen so this is me just filling the converter around halfway through so we could start writing with the pen 
So for now, I'm just going to leave you with some relaxing music with the rest of the video. I'm going to show some writing samples and all of my feedback and description would be on the caption. So grab some snacks, tea or coffee and enjoy watching. If you have reached this part of the video, thank you so much for watching and I hope you do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel. Again, this is Laloon Bunny. Thank you for watching and joining me for today. Have a creative and happy day. Bye!